Hello everybody, Marcel Harding here. Welcome to my channel, Marcel Harding Art. Today I want to talk about uh, giving wildlife painting a try. Now it's not the easiest thing to do. My main genre is still life followed by landscapes, hopeless at portraits. I can't paint portraits to, to save my life. Um, I actually did do a video on portraits, but uh, portraits are something that I just <laughs> I never got my head around. And um, I painted this big marlin here many years ago, 2011, with a palette knife and oil. It's very rough, um, very rough painting. But today I want to talk about giving wildlife painting a try. I haven't done much. Out of all the years, I think, you know, probably a couple of dozen overall. And uh, give wildlife painting a try. Um, like I said, uh, this is a small, these are small A4 size paintings. These are a couple of um, uh, sheep dogs. Here, you may not be able to see it too good. Give wildlife painting a try. And um, here's one I did this year as well. One of a horse, a man on a horse and two dogs. Now, this one came out really good. Uh, I like this type of painting here. People like, I got I got over 100 views on that video. For a, a small channel, I've only got 1,000 subscribers. I got over 100 views. That's one of every 10 people uh, like the, uh, the video. But uh, this is a guy on his horse with his two dogs um, amongst the forest and the trees. And I painted this this year, and uh, it turned out really well. Uh, I really like that one there. Um, here's one I did in 2016 of some chickens. As you can see, they're pretty, looked out pretty cool. These are all on acrylics, by the way. So uh, I use uh, Rosemary Co acrylic brushes. So here's all the acrylics. I painted some chickens there, but they worked out pretty good. Um, this one here of a couple of dogs here sitting there. I saw a picture in the magazine. Uh, <laughs> anyway, and I drew them out, as you can see. A couple of dogs on a couch. Uh, didn't work out that great, but uh, overall the composition worked out pretty good. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll keep it. Couple of dogs on a couch there. I think it was my Women's Weekly magazine or something. This is this is uh, my favorite one of all time. Three three rams. Uh, I painted these three rams in my photograph. Uh, my old man used to go hunting, and uh, he's got did a lot. Took a lot of photographs. This is obviously a close up. The guy he was uh, at a distance, but he uh, zoomed the lens, you know. And so this is one of them. And uh, I love this painting. It's got three rams here in the countryside. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite paintings I ever did. I'm really proud of this painting here. I really like that painting there. Here's another one I really like here of these fish I've got here. I really like that as well On in a basket. That's pretty cool. Um, I really like them. The old man goes fishing. He caught a uh, perch, a trout, some herrings. That's pretty cool. It's, uh, I like that painting, how it turned out. It's really good. 2017 in acrylic. All in acrylics. There's another one I painted in 2016 again. Of the old man holding a chicken. There you go. I cut off his head. <laughs> because I can. <laughs> how cool is that? Yep. Just stay still I'll take the photograph. Yep. Here's some here with a cottage down the road. Some uh, sheep have painted down the road there. Took a quick photo and um, did a lot of series on this on this cottage actually. Uh, 2016, that's three years ago, two and a half years ago. Here you go. Some sheep there. Here you go. The old man holding up some um, chickens. There you go. How cool is that? It's hard to paint hands. It really is. It's hard to, hard to paint hands. Here's another guy down the road who's got a, uh, some pigs and some um, horses and that. And he was feeding his uh, feeding his big domestic pigs there. If I, if I take a photo, there you go. It's a big pig right here. Because I'm no good at portraits, I cut their heads off. <laughs> Here's another one I did. Um, Again, it's from a, uh, you know, <laughs> don't tell anyone. 
yeah. Got it from my woman's wedding. Anyway, I like that picture there of the guys and the horses and the cows. I did a good job painting that actually, because that's uh, it's hard to do when you like that. It turned out pretty good actually. I quite like that one. This is another one of the neighbors down the down the road. They had a bull. I took a photo of it, and uh, yep, freehand drew it. I quite like this how it turned out. This was in 2016 as well. It's pretty good how that turned out. This is uh, a photo of uh, when the old man was hiking with the dogs. Uh, the lot dogs are long gone. You know that was uh, 20 years ago. So long gone uh, when he's on hiking trips. There you go. It's pretty cool with his sheep dogs. How cool is that? Well, it turned out pretty good. Here's some more of some cattle. Um, how cool, I like that one. That's pretty good. I like how that turned out, although the detail isn't that great, but it's it's pretty cool. This is this is a really good one I painted of a guy with his horse. This is really cool, this one. I really like this one, eh? He said, oh, why don't you paint this? This is a photograph for you, yeah? So I thought, well, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. And uh, I like the way it turned out. I mean, I like the horse, especially the dog. The guy I painted, it didn't, it wasn't that great, but I liked the way I painted the horse. And the uh, dog was really cool. That turned out pretty cool. Um, here's another one of the rat guys. Uh, um, they, they're putting uh, something in their mouths to uh, full of, full of worming. Uh, this, you know, that turned out pretty cool. I like the way I did that. I painted that in 2016, and I did a uh, montage here, really, of um, horses running in the paddock and and a guy holding a rabbit. I got them from a magazine. Um, I painted that montage. There's two paintings here. They're two separate paintings, but I kind of kind of merged them together. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, what I'm saying is that um, give uh, wildlife a, a try if you like. Um, give it a try and uh, see what you can do because I'm not really a wildlife painter at all. But give wildlife painting a try. You never know what's going to happen. Um, this is probably my favourite one of all of them. Are the old man on the seat? I mean, I painted that with a palette knife. But you, you know, A4 size on um, this is acrylic paper. You know, just this is proper acrylic paper. Use small A4 size paintings and just do these small paintings like I've got here. Um, and this one here is probably my favorite of all. I really like this painting, how it turned out. And, uh, you know, give wildlife painting a try. You know, paint uh, chickens, bulls, birds, wildlife, anything you can. I've even done them in watercolor. And um, give wildlife painting a try. Because I think it's well worth it. Uh, you never know. Even, every now and then you can do a good painting. Like this one here, for example. There's many more that uh, I've done. And I'm really happy with it. The way they turn out. So give it a go. Painting sheep here. Give wildlife painting a go. And um, you never know what you're going to achieve. Because uh, it's well worth it. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to try to do wildlife paintings. So uh, like, share, subscribe and bang that bell. And we'll catch you guys later. And uh, have a good one.